Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Dana again, and today you're at Research Road, and it's the 17th of September, 2024. And on this date in 1976, the Space Shuttle Enterprise was unveiled. Gene Roddenberry and some of the cast of Star Trek were present. So, starting off with tech news, a robot has started the process of removing melted nuclear fuel at the bottom of Fukushima. The USS New Jersey was commissioned into the Navy. The New Jersey has a unique claim to fame. It's the first U.S. sub set up to be occupied by a gender-integrated crew. Other submarines have had co-ed crews, but they weren't built for it intentionally. And now on to space. After lengthy delays, the Polaris Dawn mission has taken off and returned to Earth successfully. The first private spacewalk was conducted during the trip. The Martian spiders are not actually spiders, thankfully. NASA researchers have determined that the freaky spider-like geologic formations are most likely caused by a process involving carbon dioxide ice. If you haven't heard about them, you can pull up the imagery through a quick image search for Martian spiders. Humanity reached a record number of people in space last week when 19 people were up there at once. The European Space Agency's JUICE probe used its instrumentation on Earth and found that our planet could support life. The idea was to test the sensors out before the probe makes its way to the moons of Jupiter. Now it's time to talk about the developing climate crisis. In 2023, an unexplained seismic event baffled researchers. They received seismic signals every 90 seconds for nine days. It was incredibly unusual. But now, researchers have determined it came from a landslide in a fjord in Greenland that triggered a tsunami. The landslide was reportedly caused by melting ice. A few of you sent in questions to the channel about whether or not either presidential candidate in the United States would ban fracking. The simple answer is that all the posturing on the debate stage was kind of pointless. It will take an act of Congress. A food scientist has developed a chocolate alternative. The need for the alternative arises because the cocoa bean grows in an area that will be heavily impacted by climate change, and the plant is very susceptible to it. That's right. Climate change will take our chocolate. In the world of animals, in an incredibly rare event, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife says that a river otter attacked a child and dragged her underwater. Luckily, the child resurfaced and her mother was able to pull her to safety. The Biden administration is preparing to take steps to turn protection of the gray wolf over to individual states. Wolf conservationists are incredibly upset and warn of losing ground in the fight to preserve the animal. In health news, a survey indicates that about 43% of Americans plan on getting a COVID shot this year, and about 56% plan on getting a flu vaccine. The numbers are troubling to public health officials. An analysis conducted for the World Health Organization found no evidence that exposure to the radiation produced by cell phones increased the risk of brain cancer. Now let's dig up the past a little. Fossils dating back 8.7 million years were found underneath a high school in Los Angeles. The fossils include a megalodon and a saber-toothed salmon. Drawings of a saber-toothed salmon available online make it look kind of cute. Then you realize they were eight feet long. The discoveries were made over the last two years, but are being publicized now. In Norway, four silver arm rings were found. They are more than a thousand years old. Further investigation revealed the location was once the home to a large Viking age farm. Normally finds like this lack context, but this discovery might lead to more insight into the area. Near the northern coast of modern-day Egypt, archaeologists have found a fort dating to the New Kingdom. The fort is believed to have probably been there to protect the Egyptians from the Sea Peoples. And now on to oddities. The U.S. median income rose in 2023. It's the first time there's been any real increase since 2019. That just seems like a stat that will enter into a lot of conversations. 
Recently, we talked about a Bronze Era jar that was accidentally smashed by a child at a museum. It has been restored and is already back on display. It now has a sign that says, Please Don't Touch. This week's quote is attributed to Gene Roddenberry. Reality is incredibly larger, infinitely more exciting than the flesh and blood vehicle we travel in here. If you read science fiction, the more you read it, the more you realize that you and the universe are part of the same thing. Science knows still practically nothing about the real nature of matter, energy, dimension, or time, and even less about those remarkable things called life and thought. But whatever the meaning and purpose of this universe, you are a legitimate part of it. And since you are part of the all that is, part of its purpose, there is more to you than just this brief speck of existence. You are just a visitor here in this time and this place, a traveler through it. So that's all the data we have to date. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again soon.